the user settings page, is used to manage the machine users. It consists of two areas. The user management area, where we can see a list of all existing users, and add or remove users if we have the permission for it. Located underneath it, the export and import area lets us export or import user lists from external sources. Let's now take a closer look at the user management. The user system is based on roles, and the user level is based on which of the roles it has. As we can see from the user list, it is possible to have six following roles. Alarm reset, allows the user to reset alarms on the machine. Automatic and manual mode roles, enable the user to operate the machine in corresponding modes. Machine parameters role, which lets the user change any of the machine input settings. SPC parameters, enabling the user to configure the quality table settings. And the user creation role which determines if the user can create new or delete existing users. Every machine has seven default users defined, which can't be deleted. These predefined users are the ones you can currently see on your screen. The red and green marks to the right, indicate if the user has the role specified in the column title. Additional users can be created and deleted, but only as we just mentioned, by users that have the user creation role. Since we are logged in as the engineer, we have the permission to create new roles, so let's go ahead and make one. For this we first need to specify a unique username and assign a password to it. After we give the username and password, we need to select which roles the new user should have. This is done by selecting the checkboxes above the columns. For example, let's create a user that can reset alarms, and move the machine in manual mode but not in automatic. Let's also allow our user to set up the quality table settings, but he can't change any machine parameters. This user should not be allowed to create or delete other users, so we will leave the last checkbox unmarked. Once we have selected all the roles we want for the new user, we just need to click on the button to create a new user, and confirm in the dialog window. After we give the system a bit of time to reload the user list, we can see our user with the name test. The green check marks show us which permissions it has, and red X marks indicating which roles are not available. Let's now go ahead, and log in with our new user. Right away we see, since we don't have the user creation role, that the text inputs, checkboxes and buttons are disabled. So now if we test our permissions we see that we can move the machine in manual mode. If an alarm is activated, we can reset it as well. However, if we try to switch the machine to automatic mode, we will notice that it's not possible, since we don't have the permission. If we go through a few machine pages we can see that all the inputs are disabled since we don't have the machine parameters role permission. The SPC parameters role allows us however to edit the settings on the quality table settings page. In case we want to delete one of the custom users, we just need to select it on the list, press the delete button, and again confirm our action in the dialog window. For this, we logged in as service, since the user creation role is required to delete users. Let us now take a look, at the export and import area. To export or import a user list, we need to use the two push buttons. The list will be exported to the path shown on the screen, and from here you can copy it to an external storage media. It also needs to be placed in this folder in case you want to import it. It is important to know, when the list is for the first time placed in the import folder, the controller needs to be restarted for the import process to work. We hope this video tutorial was helpful. If you have any other questions regarding user settings page, please leave a comment below or contact us directly through our customer service channels. Thank you and have a nice day.